Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about the evolutionary history of guinea pigs. Today, the guinea pig you're most likely to recognize is the domestic species, Cavia porcellus. However, this species is not the only cavia around. The evolutionary history of guinea pigs is fascinating, and today's domestic varieties have wild cousins. Evolutionary ancient history. Guinea pigs can trace their ancestry back to the late Miocene period which is somewhere between 7 and 26 million years ago. At the time, there were marmot-sized critters called paramyats. These creatures evolved in several distinct directions, including the Cavidae family. The divide from wild guinea pigs. Domestic guinea pigs, Cavia porcellus, shared evolutionary history with the rest of the species until somewhere between 5000 and 2000 BCE. At this point, humans in the Andes began domesticating guinea pigs. Cultures across the enemies, Andes had diverse uses for them. It was rare that guinea pigs were bought, and instead they were often gifted for special occasions. Guinea pigs were usually allowed to roam free in the kitchen area and were fed from scraps. This exchange of guinea pigs prevented too much inbreeding as well. Guinea pigs were also deliberately bred. In many Andean cultures, guinea pigs were not only gifts, they were also eaten on special occasions. Selective breeding allowed people to change their taste, as well as the look of the guinea pigs given as gifts. Some cultures also assigned the guinea pig a medicinal purpose as an evil spirit catcher. Traditional medicine held that guinea pigs could detect where the spirit was sitting in the body. The treatment involved moving the guinea pig over the patient's body and finding the spot where it squeaked the loudest. Then the guinea pig laid on the spot for a while, and that was the treatment. Black guinea pigs in particular were favored for this practice, and they were the rarest in the wild. The Spanish Conquest The Spanish Conquest also played a role in the evolutionary history of guinea pigs. This changed shipped guinea pigs across the Atlantic throughout the 1600s and beyond. This distance created separate gene pools, though the export of guinea pigs didn't cease. The other thing the Spanish conquest did for the evolutionary history of guinea pigs is replacing traditional practices. Since the spread of the Spanish meant the spread of Christianity, many cultural practices, faith healing, so on and so forth, ceased. Guinea pig healing and gifting altered radically during this time, which in turn affected breeding. Today, guinea pigs exist all over the world. The domestic variation is incredibly prevalent, and these hardy critters flourish. Many breeders associations devote themselves to guinea pigs and the several recognized breeds under Cavia porcellus. The domestic guinea pig has several wild cousins around the Andes. These are distinct variations genetically, some of which are quite rare. For example, a 2008 survey showed that the Moliquas du Sol guinea pig, Cavia intermedia, has less than 50 wild members. Most guinea pigs are at no risk of disappearing them. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe below to learn more about guinea pigs. And have a good day. Bye.